Hi there, this is Ben and Adam from Cup of Team. We're here for Dropout UK and we're joined by Kevan Novak, star of Phone Jacket, Face Jacket and Four Lines. <laughs> Name's Batante. Brian Batante. So, we're here to talk about Terry Tips, but before we get into that, let's just talk about those characters in general. How do you how do you come up with those characters? Like I think I did it just to entertain myself. <laughs> As most of the things I do are just to entertain me, and they happen to entertain other people as well. So I just literally called up um, 192 and asked for a number for um, Brian Breaker Street, please. And it confused the woman on the other end, and I thought this is quite fun. And then I kind of developed the character through many, many more phone calls. And then when we came to do it on Face Jacker, um, the mask for Brian was actually going to be Dufresne, who's the guy in the wheelchair. But then we had, we were going to do Brian, so then the wig and the hair and the clothes and the clothes, and I thought, okay, this is it, like I said, Bart show. <laughs> and um, yeah, the first hit that we did was the gallery one, which was probably the best hit that we've done. Um, my favourite. When did you first start prank calling people? I started prank calling people when I was trying to get into voiceovers, actually. Right. So when I started out as a, just a, a straight actor. Um, but I found that I wasn't getting anywhere as myself. So I started putting on voices on the telephone. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. I'm calling from your credit card company. I'm in bed. I'm sorry? I'm in bed. Well, I cannot help that, sir. Uh, basically, uh, what has happened is uh, we see in the database that the details of your credit card uh, seem to be missing, sir. Fuck off. I beg your pardon? Uh, four Lines, of course, which was hilarious, lines, yeah. with uh, Chris Morris's project. What was it like working with him? Working with Chris Morris was a dream come true. And he's. People ask me what he's like. He's, he's kind of as a close approximation as. Doctor Who and Sherlock Holmes rolled into one, but in real life. Um, he's very inquisitive, asks a lot of questions. His brain works in wild and mysterious ways, which is a joy to behold. Very Terry, the new show. Talk us about that. Terry is basically Terry Tibbs' chat show. Um, he's Done it all, he sold cars, he's on Camp Down with me, <laughs> sequel millionaire. Uh, he's done all of that, and it's just felt like the natural progression um, to kind of give him his own chat show in the kind of old school style of kind of sat behind a desk and guests, um, live band, you know, tick all those boxes. And, uh, you know, we're lucky enough to get Mickey Rourke on the show and Anthea Turner. Anthea, love you very much. Uh, it was really fun to kind of plan what we were going to do on the night and then of course you know once you get to the night you do those things and then so much more happens as well. Mickey was a wonderful guest, very gracious, very funny and just went with it and you could kind of imagine him and Terry being good friends. <laughs> uh, How long did it take to get into the Terry Tibbs outfit? How long does that take? Ah, oh, that's good. Ah, ah, skills me. Faces usually take about two and a half to three hours. Oh yeah, jeez. Yeah. But it's, you know, I've done it over a hundred times, and I'm fine, I'm fine with it. If you get on with your makeup artist, you're okay, <laughs> which I do. Um, so that's fine. That's the most painless bit. It's then dragging yourself out of that, sat there for three hours, and focusing and going right. You know, I've got to go into battle now. And, uh, be funny. <laughs> so, yeah. Next, not so very Terry. What's next? Well, we'd like to do a series of it. You know, if people like it. Um, and we want to develop another one of the characters from Face Jack into a sitcom. Oh, the, which uh, one? Ray Fakadakis, yeah. the yeah. careers advisor. Um, he's kind of he's got that vulnerability and that kind of just he's thick and you know, <laughs> lovable. He can be lovable. Yeah. Fingers are working. I'm a yourself. I've got one 
Your minute, son in there doesn't even work. One minute 29. You know, let's one people, minute 28. Let's people putting one their money in this. So I just pretend? Yeah. I'll tell you what, the surf, yeah. surf machine is going in seven seconds. If you yeah. want it, press you that one, then she's going to get yours. You want it? But don't worry about it. I, I wouldn't go for that one, to be honest. It doesn't even work. But this one, now this one is going too. You do celebrity impressions. I kind of do impressions of people more than celebrity. I'd hate to be like a celebrity impressionist. It feels like a bit of a ball and chain, really, to yeah. do that. Um, but if you're asking me to do an impression now, I guess to go back to when I was first starting out doing prank calls, I managed to wind up the BBC for six months. They thought it was Kevin Spacey they were talking to. <laughs> when in fact it was me. <laughs> Hi there, you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the uh, you gotta keep it kind of nasal and um, it's all on the lips, you know. So uh, hi, this is Kevin Spacey, and you're watching <laughs> in the morning <laughs> <laughs> and a cigarette. That's my perfect breakfast and a 19-year-old Thai boy. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. American Airlines. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. Or, uh, and was there any? Everything you did for Phone Jack or Face Jack, that you was too far, like Channel 4 or someone said, no, you can't do that. In Phone Jacker, where I called up a moped shop and uh, as a guy with a bad stutter, and I asked him, uh, do you sell mopeds? He's like, and he's laughing on there. Yes, we do, sir. I was like, well, how much for a... moped? So that was quite clever yeah. to do as the sound of a moped and yeah. a starter. And apparently, compliance, they, uh, they thought it was uh, making fun of someone with a disability. Well, that stutter lobby. So, yeah, yeah, really yeah, powerful. Yeah, pretty powerful in the stutter department. But since then, I think things have kind of been jokes about, or not about disability, but you can do <laughs> disabled characters that mm. are kind of funny. You know, a scamster, and he goes to Morrison's, and he sees that a tail in the Morrison's outfit, and starts going, burp, burp, when they're in someone's foot, and then it, they were like, you don't work here, I was like, I'm a work experience, they were like, no you're not, get out, so then I kind of run out, and they chase me, and then they start I'm running out there my comic kind of run away <laughs> and then I hear the manager going I'm faster than you mate and he just grabs me in the headlock and slams me to the floor and then I end up in a police car and explaining that uh, I'm only black to the wrist <laughs> up and the rest of the show <laughs> kind of caramel <laughs> Price check on tier number five Let's go somewhere here please Excellent Perp. Yes I like to sit on this field. What do you mean? Ah. Where are you from? I'm a work experience. No, you're not. Uh, it's alright. I'll I, be calling I the didn't... police. That's the fun. No, 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 no. There's no need to call the police. Taxi! Hello! Don't buy you cake!